Recently, I had a layover in Krakow Airport, and while I was browsing the duty-free section, I actually found this KLM City Hopper E190 in 1 to 200 scale. So I decided, why not get my first 1 to 200 model? In this video, I'm going to be unboxing it and taking a look at it. Let's get started. Taking a look at the front of the box, specifically this flap, it says KLM City Hopper, the type of aircraft, the scale, as well as this picture, and this blue stripe. The blue stripe continues inside of the box where we have uh, this Dutch flag design strewn across the blue stripe. And here we have the flap, which basically says the history of Brazilian EJETs as well as the history of EJETs at KLM City Hopper. And then this flag design is continued on the bottom of the box. And then obviously on the sides, it is just what you'd expect from any other model company. You have the clip art or the picture, should I say, of the aircraft, as well as the type of aircraft and the model brand. And it's this design pretty much continues around the sides of the box. And on the back of the box, it's like any other model company. You just have a picture of the aircraft or clip art, type of aircraft, as well as the trademarks and the contact info and just the warning labels of uh basically of this model and box so uh yeah now that we've taken a look at the box let's unbox the model now this model is made of plastic that is one downside uh but it's still pretty high quality for a model and this model actually does come with a stand which we'll take a look at later but let's take the model out of the box this is what it looks like and uh yeah now let's move on to the detail segment Taking a look at this 1 to 200 model, we have the cockpit windows, Sky Team logo, Air France KLM sticker, L1 door, forward landing gear, we have an antenna, and then below the antenna on the fuselage, we have the KLM City Hopper logo, as well as the 100 years of KLM sticker. And then we have an emergency exit, as well as the wings, which have K the words KLM written on the wingtips and engines. And then continuing on down the aircraft, we have an antenna, the registration of the aircraft, which is Papa Hotel Echo Zulu Alpha, the Dutch flag, European Union flag, and then we have another antenna, and then below this antenna is the L2 door, the words Embraer U190 to indicate the type of aircraft, and then we have the KLM tail. All across the body, since this is, uh, I believe, KLM's new livery, uh, we have this uh, blue stripe as well as light blue painted on the top of the aircraft. Now, the difference between the left and right sides of the aircraft is that on the right side, you have the cargo doors. And on the bottom of the aircraft, obviously, you have the forward and back landing gear, purple logo, and then you have one antenna in the front, and then one antenna in the back. Now, I don't know if this little streak coming out of the aircraft is like the real-life counterpart, uh, but I'm going to have to take a picture, or not take a picture, take a look on the internet of a picture of this aircraft to see what it does look like in real life. And obviously, the wings are level, and the engines are done very well. Now, this is very high-quality plastic. This is not something that you feel is has been made in five minutes and just shipped out to stores. No, you can tell that they actually took their time uh, with making all of the details. And one little thing that I did forget is that on the right part of the wing, you have the registration of the aircraft, which is Papa Hotel Echo Zulu Alpha. And yeah, with that being said, that there really is nothing more uh, to say for this detail segment. Something that Herpa does include with this tiny 1 to 200 model is a stand. Now, on this stand, it actually says the airline, the type of aircraft, and the scale, uh, as well as the Herpa logo. And here below, it also has the Herpa logo. And this is what the model looks like on the stand. I really do enjoy the way Herpa presents these models to the customer and the way they put attention to detail on these models so that way, even though you're spending a relatively small amount of money for a 1-200 model, I bought this model for the equivalent of around 35-40 US dollars, it's still very, very high quality and feels like you just bought a quality product. But uh, yeah, with that being said, that does conclude this video. If you guys like the video, please like, subscribe, and turn the notification bell to my videos, and comment down below if you think. Uh...